Freedom, today I want to talk to you about something very important. Now, there is a lot of commotion in the community right now because there are some large YouTubers making videos and they're a little bit freaked out. For instance, Boogie2988 has made a video, Mr. Repsion has made a video, Philip DeFranco's made a video, and a lot of others. I'll try to include those down below so you kind of get their input on this. However, in this video, I'm gonna be talking more about what we know and then we'll get more into the other stuff later. About a year ago, YouTube made some changes to their monetization policy on what you could and could not monetize. Now, yes, of course, they are rather vague when it comes to what can and cannot be monetized. However, it basically boils down to don't do anything that you shouldn't do. Don't go and talk about and show hardcore rape scenes. Don't go and talk about things that are just to trigger or upset people. These are things that advertisers just can't get behind. But there's also, like I said, how it's a little bit vague. And now that YouTube is notifying people that their, their videos are in this weird limbo state, well, now it's causing people to freak out a little bit. So when I say this weird limbo state, now YouTube and AdSense in general has a couple of different segments. And one of them is where advertisers opt in to say, yes, I want to advertise on risky content. Now this can be content that is, say, for instance, about um, you know, topics like mental health. This could be about topics uh, that, you know, political topics or um, things like that that maybe most advertisers wouldn't want their brands associated with. Now this change will have ads showing on your videos occasionally for this very small subset of advertisers who kind of get it and understand this, but the vast majority of advertisers just think that this is not the content that they want their brands to be seen next to. With that being the case, that means that a lot of news channels may think that they're being affected in ways that they might not be. If you'd like to find the policies themselves, we'll link to them down below uh, so that you can see how this may or may not affect your channel. Like I said, YouTube's policies are rather vague, so link down below to these creators' videos where they start talking about it. It may give you a little bit of insight and context. Now, because we are a business that does business directly with YouTube, there are some NDA things going on. So I can't tell you that any of this stuff is true or that YouTube has told us this stuff, but I can tell you that the videos that we're linking are being linked for good reason, and you should probably check those out. So take that to mean what you will. If you'd like to be updated about this topic or really any topics going forward, I've actually found a really cool channel that I'd like you to check out, link down below. It's called Drama Hub. And no, it's not like the regular YouTube drama stuff. These people actually, they go to the lengths to put in the research and they are a really, as far as I know, reliable re news source for this kind of stuff. So check them out. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, guys.